So firstly, in this one, we have Android 11 style quick settings panel. In some custom rooms, we have this thing, which is quite useful and available in a lot of custom rooms already. But in some custom rooms, it's not that stable. But in this one, which we are talking about in this video, which is Everest OS, it's having this Android 11 style quick settings panel, which is quite smooth although if you will install and if you install it and definitely you are going to love it for sure let's have a quick look at some of the other things as this is everest OS having the latest android version android 14 the may security patch and a lot more things the custom room brings you some very very powerful amazing features so stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end one of the best features of this custom room is the sound engine it's available in this custom room it's available in rising os also it's available in some other custom rooms too so yes now you can simply select the sound profile music game theater or smart some things might be device specific but most of the devices if you install everest os you might get this feature quite useful quite amazing in some cases this is also having the latest depth wallpaper which is quite common nowadays available in a lot of custom rooms right now and if you want to know more about how you can apply depth wallpaper there's a guide already written there in the i button you can see what you need to do how to apply it a lot of you might love this thing on their devices a lot of you might not Another one is the custom brightness slider styles. In this case, if you want to customize a brightness slider, which is quite underrated feature or basically a customization thing, you can apply that. A lot of brightness slider styles options are available. Some of them are looking good. For example, the rounded clip, which looks quite good to be honest. If I apply this, this is how it's looking like. It is some kind, sometimes it's giving vibes of Oxygen OS or you can say Realme UI, the same kind of brightness slider there. Another great thing about this custom room is the status bar padding. The padding option basically you can see you can change the status bar height from top also change the icons from left to right right to left not exactly same like that but left padding so for example from the end to the bottom to the center like that you can adjust that. We also have the background chip available in the status bar lock screen, status bar clock, unfortunately, sorry for that. We have status bar clock customizations available there like background chip. In some cases, uh, some of these options are, look, uh, are looking good, but some of these might not. It depends upon the user and if you want to apply this thing, the option is available here for you. If you don't want to apply it, simply skip this thing. Lock screen, as expectedly, as a lot of custom rooms are now giving you custom lock screen clocks. In this case, it's available there and it's almost kind of similar to Rising OS as far as I know. We have custom these widgets available finally. Uh, yes, a lot of a lot of devices having Rising OS is not stable to be honest. I tried that in my Pixel 7, it was not good. In other devices, it was good. So that's why I told you Rising OS is good. It's now updating, it's now getting stable. For now, for my Pix Pixel 7, it's not that stable, unfortunately. But yes, Everest OS is good. Having all the features right now from Rising OS, one of the best features is the iOS style lock screen proper iOS style lock screen also having nothing OS style widget so that is quite useful and it's available in Everest OS also. If you're looking for some more customizations we also have some quick settings header images a lot of header images options are present here some of these header images are good especially it depends upon which monet color you are using so for example if you apply some color some quick settings header images which looks good with the red color blue color etc and if you have applied the wallpaper similar to that then the ui will be quite useful quite interesting one for you for sure Including this one, what I found is Everest launcher, which is a customizable launcher. It's not present everywhere. For example, if I use Poco F5, it's not there. But if I use it in Poco F3, it's having Everest launcher. So yes, if you use this custom room on a device which is having Everest launcher, which means we have launcher three base launcher available, having all the similar kind of customizations present in some other custom rooms too. But if you use Poco F5 or in case, if it is available, if Pixel Launcher is available for you, don't worry, you can or you can simply apply some Magisk modules in that case. Last but not the least, it also supports OTA. So yes, things are looking quite good, quite improved. If you want to apply, if you want to install this custom room on a device for the supported devices, link is already available in the description. So check it out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care.